Nostalgia for Adult Swim is probably the best thing to come out of me not being supervised as a 10 year old. And since I'm feeling particularly nostalgic, I figured it'd be fun to go over my top five favorite Adult Swim shows of all time. Now I'm only considering shows where the majority of their run was on Adult Swim first. So Family Guy Futurama, you're gonna have to chill comfortably in that honorable mention spot. They may have garnered most of their popularity on Adult Swim, but due to legal reasons, they're no longer considered part of the network. Speaking of legal reasons, ha <laughs> ha, transition. By this point, Adult Swim had already used Hanna-Barbera characters for a talk show and a sitcom, so why not a legal drama? But when you compare the writing of all three shows, Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law was definitely the sharpest of the bunch. Having Birdman represent other cartoon characters in court cases is a stroke of genius. From Shaggy and Scooby being charged with a DUI to Fred Flintstone being a mob boss, the jokes just write themselves. Now for my number four's pick, this show has a very special place in my heart. <laughs> Fun fact, I once remixed the lyrics to the Aqua Teen Hunger Force theme song and used it in a school project. I was not supervised. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is a perfect example of what happens when you just have funny characters play off of each other. When the show first starts off, there's supposed to be a parody of old school superhero shows where they will go around solving mysteries, but that does not last long. Because from episode 3 onwards, the plot can be anything from stopping invaders from the moon that look like they hopped out of an Atari, to them trying to stop an 8 foot tall spider from drilling into hell with the power of candy and hip hop. I still quote this show to this day. If somebody asks me to do something that I don't want to do, my first response is usually, I shall not walk so that a child may live. But speaking of quotable, there's a reason why before we had no Diddy, there was pause. The Boondocks is a cultural milestone and I'll be damned if I don't give him its flowers. The Boondocks is probably the only show other than South Park that truly does not give a damn about who it offends with his commentary. But it never felt preachy and it was always funny. Riley, Huey, and Granddad are iconic. Tom's version of Let It Burn is an earworm and if it wasn't for this last season, this would be so much higher on my list. It does get bonus points for that Tyler Perry episode. That, that was spot on. Now my top two are probably really obvious choices, but I kind of feel like they're obvious because they're right. <laughs> Rick and Morty is what you get when you combine Doctor Who and Bojack Horseman. A nihilistic and irreverent sci-fi comedy that somehow manages to still have heartfelt moments included. I like the fact that the characters grow and change throughout the show, and I love the fact that the writers never feel like they're afraid to try new things. I like the fact that this show probably inspired people who felt like they were too good for therapy to go to therapy. <laughs> if the show has one con, it would be that its episodes can be a little bit hit or miss. You can have an episode that has damn near no dialogue that still feels hilarious and heartfelt like the Vat of Acid episode, and then you can have an episode that has Morty making horse children, and if you know, you know. Now for some people, Rick and Morty would be their number one pick, no questions asked, but for me, there's one other show that takes the top spot. Okay, listen, I know a bunch of y'all were probably expecting Robot Chicken, but hear me out. Home Movies probably has the most unique yet grounded premise for a show. It is just about a boy and his friends making videos. Brendan, the main character, is just so passionate about making these corny little home movies with these crappy cardboard sets and an old school camcorder. But he's so passionate about it that it's infectious for me. <laughs> I also really like the relationships between the characters. I like the fact that Brendan comes from a family of divorce, but him and his mom have this amazing chemistry together. I like that they're sarcastic with each other without being mean-spirited. I like that his friends actually feel like friends. <laughs> they bicker, they fight, they disagree, but at the end of the day, they're still friends. <laughs> and Coach McGurk is voiced by H. John Benjamin. That alone puts this show at number one. Whenever I think of Old School Adult Swim, this is the show that instantly comes to mind, and honestly, I don't feel like people talk about it enough. But as always, I want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite Adult Swim show, and did you watch it when it was age appropriate, or were you like me and in desperate need of supervision? Whatever your answers be, leave them in the comments, let me know.